Could you stand up at all? Yes, please. I request you to please put your other arm down. Thank you so much. Thank you. You start by telling us about you. Um, good afternoon, ladies. Uh, first, I'm going to come up. My name is Nasa Maria Farid. I am 21 years old. I work with the aid support organization that is Castle Meeting. I'm a first year medical student. Thank you. You say you're a first year medical student? First year medical student. So you study medicine? Yes, please. Very nice. Okay, uh, contestant number 12. Yes, please. Normally, when we crown any beauty queens in Uganda, just like any other country out there, there is a lot of publicity done, you receive a lot of uh, interviews. True or false? True. You have seen that somewhere? Yes. Good. So, if you were crowned as Miss Kame, Uganda, what communication would you air out to the world about Uganda? We want to know. Something to do with Uganda. Are we together? No. Good. I'll ask again. Yes, please. If you were to be crowned Miss Kavi, Uganda, what communication, like communication, would you air out to the world about Uganda? In other words, we want to know about Uganda. You as Miss Kavi, Uganda, what communication would you air out? Have you understood me now? Yes, I've understood you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Since Uganda is the part of Africa, we have got a lot of tourism attractions in Uganda. Uganda is not the part of Africa. The information that I can air out as Miss Kabi Uganda is to attract tour tourists to our country and letting them know about the beauty in Uganda. Thank you. About the beauty in your in Uganda, my country. Do you believe people as people contribute to to our tourism in Uganda? Yes, I do. Okay. You're beautiful. Did someone tell you? Yes, thank you so much. Oh, the MC told you? Yeah, he told me, but many tell me. Well, yes. Now, I want to know something about you as a medical student. Yes. How best, how best can you talk to a lot of young ones? Or a lot of young people of your age, especially starting from your university, about living a life of a plus size or ambitious, you know, size. Okay, thank you so much. The young children and young people outside there, since I'm a medical student and I work with the AIDS support organization TASO, I get to associate with a lot of young children. So I can tell them about Miss Kabi Uganda and sensitize them, give them the confidence so that I can raise their self-esteem in them. Thank you. My last question. Yes, please. If you were asked to ask the judge one question, what would that be and why? Sir? If you were to ask the judge any question, what question would that be and why? My question to the judge would be how old he is, because he is young. Thank you so much. <laughs> this judge is 19 years old. <laughs> now, now, Samba. Yes, please. Medical student. Yes. As a medical student. Yes, please. I want you to tell us how you would use that profession of yours in any area in regard to health? Thank you so much. How I would use the, blood, the medical course that I'm doing. People basically know people infected with HIV and AIDS are slim. What I say slim, I mean the thin ones. And people who are not infected as the fat ones or the plus size ones, what they may call them right now. But people who are HIV positive look good and they have that plus size. So I can educate them and remove that mentality from them that they have that only people infected with HIV are the thin ones. Thank you. Thank you, Maria Prince.
Cruz da Vez.